mission to bring viewers more to every story, we asked ski resorts and the Idaho Panhandle Avalanche Center about the dangers of avalanches and what people can do to stay safe after three people were caught in an avalanche yesterday. Crim 2's Nathan Hyun is joining us now in the studio. So Nathan, are officials that you talked to surprised by the avalanche yesterday? Not surprised at all. Avalanche officials tell me that the area where the incident happened last night is prone to avalanches. There were and currently are avalanche warnings on Stevens Peak. Matt Sawyer is the marketing director for Lookout Pass. It's a terrible tragedy what happened last night. We really feel for the family. Lookout Pass is less than an hour away from Stevens Peak, where the three men were caught in an avalanche last night. There were a few of our staff members there that are members of the Shoshone County uh, Search and Rescue. Sawyer says Lookout Pass isn't prone to avalanches, but in an area like Stevens Peak, that's not the case. Right now, unfortunately, the snowpack is a bit unstable. The Idaho Panhandle Avalanche Center releases avalanche reports twice a week. I would just say that we're really uh, reeling from the incident right now. John Totten from the Avalanche Center says avalanches are a danger on any slope with an angle of at least 30 degrees. But the reality is that if the if you're in steep mountains that are covered in snow, there is an avalanche risk. It's that simple. Sawyer says every time a rescue takes place, it puts the lives of search and rescue officials at risk. Those heroes are out there to help people like those that got in trouble. Um, but that doesn't isolate them from any potential additional avalanches. There are several things people can do to stay safe. Sawyer says it's important to track conditions before going out to an area that could be dangerous. As enthusiastic as you might be to see all this fresh snow and really want to go out there and test your backcountry experience, you need knowledge. If people do decide to go out to areas that aren't well monitored, Sawyer says never go alone, have some type of GPS or beacon, and bring a shovel. And there's a couple ways you can check avalanche conditions for specific areas. In Washington, you can check the Northwest Avalanche Center's website. And in Idaho, you can do that by checking the Idaho Panhandle Avalanche Center's website. In the studio, Nathan Hyun, Krem 2 News.